Hi everybody, this is just a very quick update on the millivoltmeter project as I've made a few changes to the input circuitry and the software has now been upgraded to version 7. Uh, I'll put a link below uh, where you can download the new software and uh, if you wish you could try it on your project if you've, if you've built this millivoltmeter. Now I'd like to uh, pay a big thank you to one of my subscribers in the USA, Andre Eisenbach who took my original code and very kindly uh, rewrote the software in a much more professional way. It's now running much faster and also he included there some uh, debounce as well for the uh, push buttons. Uh, so any of you that are interested in the coding side of it, Andre has also put this on GitHub so I'll put the link to GitHub as well down below. Now Andre is also working on some additional features in the code uh, which will include a hold facility, a minimum and high reading uh, and, and logging that on the display, a number of features and uh, as that uh, moves forward uh, we'll give you an update uh, with any changes there later. Now first of all let's uh, have a look at some of the hardware changes that I made to uh, this project. Here we see the uh, circuit of the input of the millivolt meter uh, and I'll just point out some of the changes that I've made the main change I've made is to replace the op amp at the input with the AD8628. Remember before we had the OP777. Now that suffered from a few issues with regard to the input offset voltage even though it was low. This particular op amp has an input offset voltage error of 1 microvolt which is extremely low and a long term drift of uh, plus or minus 0 0.002 microvolts per degree centigrade. So it's virtually zero and uh, I found that using this improves the accuracy of the uh, millivolt meter tremendously. Now the other change I also made was to uh, increase the value of the capacitor on the output here that's going to the input of the ADC. If you recall before we had a 1 microfarad tantalum capacitor I've increased that to 10 microfarad. It improves the noise immunity of the uh, signal going to the ADC. Uh, other than that the rest of the circuit remains the same. On the input you'll recall from last time we added the two shocky diodes to protect it from over voltage um, and the divide by 10 resistor network there uh, we have a 909k resistor and a 100k resistor and to trim the 100k I have a 5k preset uh, I'm, I'm using a 25 turn uh, preset there to give us a more accuracy in terms of adjustment there. The resistors I'm using uh, well wind resistors, the RC55 series, they're very good, very stable. These resistors, are, although they're only plus or minus 0.1%, uh, they are also plus or minus 15 parts per million uh, per degree centigrade. So very stable once you've uh, set the input uh, divider network there. So basically that's the changes that we've made to the circuit, quite simple. The uh, I see the AD8628 is a, a straight drop in replacement for the OP777 and uh, it's also designed to operate on a single 5 volt uh, supply. So that's the change we've made there. So what I'll do next is I'll just show you the operation of this now with those changes and uh, show you the accuracy of it. Just before we move on to the module itself I'll just uh, quickly show you from the uh, data sheet some of the main advantage of using this new op amp, the AD8628. Um, as I said it's got a very low offset uh, voltage of only one microvolt and a offset drift of 0 0.002 microvolts per degree centigrade. Uh, and it, For that it can also give you a true rail to rail input and output swing so we should get an accurate uh, reading on this on the output. It's designed to operate off a 5 volt supply and uh, it's a very low input bias current of uh, 100 picoamps maximum and uh, low current overall of 1, uh, one milliamp. So this particular IC uh, is ideal really for uh, an instrument such as a millivolt meter. I have our uh, millivolt meter here alongside my Keithley 614 electrometer which is very good at measuring accurately low voltages so we can compare the reading on the Keithley with what we finally get here on the millivolt meter and so what we'll do first of all is we'll uh, power the millivolt meter up just connect the 9 volt uh, supply so it goes through its normal startup sequence 
and it shows initially the uh, adjustment uh, factor and then we've nothing at the, on the input at the moment so we're just getting some random noise reading there so what I'll do now, I'll shot out the uh, input leads and uh, we'll press the uh, calibration button it's now calibrating the the unit and now what we're going to do is I'm going to um, check the 4.096 voltage reading uh, and the moment we haven't altered the uh, the trim pot there so I'm going to adjust that uh, trim pot so we get uh, exactly 4.096 on the display now there we have uh, 4.096 on the display so I'll leave it leave it at that and I'll just now compare that reading with the reading on the uh, Keithley here so let me just uh, connect the Keithley Yeah, and there you can see we've got uh, 4.0956, whatever it's virtually 96 at the end there, and the Keithley is reading 4.096, hovering between 5 and 6. So I think you'll agree the accuracy between the millivolt meter here and the Keithley is virtually identical. So I'm quite pleased with that. I just want to find out one uh, small issue that I seem to have at the moment and that is when I first power the uh, millivolt meter up I just want you to look at the display and after it's gone through the uh, start up screens just look at the first reading it gives on the display I think you'll see for a short period of time you get a reading of uh, 1048 point and so many decimal places of a volt so let me just uh, do that There, you just see it there just for a, a split second and sometimes I've found that it lasts a little bit longer and uh, on the odd occasion it may freeze there and one of the solutions I found to that problem is to put a capacitor, a small value capacitor across the input pins of the op amp on the input circuitry there and uh, I'll just uh, show you that uh, on the circuit diagram Right, well here you see I've uh, added a small 220 picofarad capacitor across pins 2 and 3 of the input op amp to stop that interference uh, getting onto those input uh, pins there and uh, we'll just see how that goes and see if we have any other issues with that but uh, I'll keep an eye on that uh, little problem and uh, if we find there's any further issues with it then I'll update you on a further uh, video later. Well I hope you found the, this update uh, useful, uh, I'll keep you posted on any further developments on the millivolt meter, either hardware or software. In the meantime, as I say, there is a link below for the new software version which you can try if you wish. Uh, it's still under development and there's also a link there for GitHub for anybody who's interested in the, the software development. Uh, any further hardware changes that I make or software changes, I'll keep you posted with uh, future videos, but for now I'm going to leave it there and if you find this uh, of interest please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you all again soon next time. Bye for now.